Electrification is a popular buzzword among automakers these days, which is not much of a surprise, considering regulators are pushing for more demanding emission standards. That includes Mini Cooper, which recently launched its first ever plug-in hybrid model, the F60 SE Countryman All 4. The plug-in hybrid Countryman serves not only to showcase the technology that powers it, but also as, an, as a sentiment that an electrified Mini is not compromised in its ability to thrill. Hello and welcome back to another episode of Hot on Wheels, Nightline's After segment with me again, Sabrina Zainal. Now today I get to test drive for the first time a Mini Cooper and a hybrid Mini Cooper as well. Meet the F60 Mini Countryman SE All 4 PHEV. Wow, okay, that's a bit of a mouthful. But um, yeah, so this is uh, the brand's first hybrid model. Um, and we're gonna take it out for a spin and I'm gonna tell you how it goes and see how well it, you know, drives on the road. Okay, let's go. Okay, we're on the road now. Um, so let's talk a little bit about the powertrain. Uh, this um, F60 has um, a 1.5 liter three cylinder turbocharged petrol engine and it also has an electric motor in the back. It's actually in the boot kind of underneath it. <coughs> and with the two systems combined, you get an output of 221 horsepower and 385 newton meters of torque. Now with that, has a six-speed automatic transmission and it can go from zero to 100 kilometers per hour in 6.8 seconds which is pretty good um, but the top speed is only 198 kilometers per hour which is less than the Countryman S oh it's also an all-wheel drive now the all-wheel drive is a little bit weird because um, the two front Tires are actually powered by the turbocharged petrol engine, while the two rear, the rear axle is pushed by uh, the electric motor exclusively. So it's kind of like two plus two, but anyways, yeah. So that's how the all-wheel drive works. There are three drive modes. First one is Auto E Drive second max e-drive and then there's save battery now save battery is um, on fully petrol so you you're saving the battery for later use max e-drive um, you can go up to 125 kilometers per hour while the auto e-drive can go up to 80 kilometers per hour and you be running fully electronically on auto e-drive Now, because of the um, hybrid system in this car, the fuel consumption is 2.1 liters per 100 kilometers, um, and that is pretty good. Uh, the EV range is also 42 kilometers. So, you know, considering it's a hybrid, it's not fully electric, I think that's, uh, that's, a, that's a brownie point for me. As for its looks, the PHEV comes fitted with the all four exterior styling kit, which comes with black high gloss bumper elements, silver skid plates, and roof rails with silver side sills. Also, part of the getup are a set of 19 inch Mini Yours masterpiece wheels. The plug in hybrid can be differentiated thanks to its model specific E emblems on the fenders and tailgate, and the yellow S emblem on the front grille and start button. Once you get yourself comfortable inside, you're greeted by a Mini Yours Walk Napa leather steering wheel with aluminum colored contrast stitching. There's also the Mini Yours Piano Black illuminated interior surfacing on the dashboard. And now, one of my favorite parts the 6.5 inch touchscreen display, which comes with the Mini Yours illuminated cockpit enlightened by an LED ring. So funky! It has multi-touch and pinch to zoom, but sadly lacks the 12-speaker sound system that the Countryman S has. It also doesn't have Apple Play, so if you love having music in the car like me, you'll have to depend on just the Bluetooth. 
Okay, now let's talk about the safety features. Um, I can't really say much to be honest because it doesn't have any of the advanced safety features. It has the parking assist and um, you know the rear cameras and the sensors and everything and you can see it in the display which works really well. I love the animation by the way but um, it doesn't have things like you know blind spot collision warning, uh, there's no cruise control, there's no um, uh, autonomous braking or anything. So you know for the price tag of 251,000 ringgit. I think I would be a lot happier if uh, some of those safety features, advanced safety features, were included in this um, Mini. However, with that price, you do get the driving experience and you do get the charismatic looks of the Mini and you know the really stylish interior and you do get like a pretty good spacious um, back seat um, and the boot is actually not bad as well so you know okay talking about driving experience I actually really I'm having a good time right now I really really like the handling and you know the steering is really crisp the brake pedals are um, like easily modulated and it's sharp as well so that's uh, the end of this episode um, but before we go let's somewhat sum up everything about this test drive now I've always loved how the mini looks um, it's just something about it that makes me connect with it so because this car is so typically mini like the in, in terms of the interior design and the exterior I just you know I'm so in love with how it looks and I think it matches my personality really well because of all the funkiness going on here with the lights and all um, and although it doesn't have all the, you know, the, the advanced safety features uh, and because of the hefty price tag, um, I don't know, I, 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 I still love it. I still love it because of the great driving experience. You know, I'm comfortable and I feel confident on the road because of the higher seating position because, you know, I'm short so I, I like to like <laughs> sit a little bit higher up to see everything on the road. So that is um, another plus from me. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, thank you guys for tuning in once again. And until then, take care. I will see you next time. Bye-bye.